In an Instagram post, Sarah Haynes of DAVU disclosed the truth about her intentions for a possible fourth child. On Friday, Sarah took some time to respond to inquiries from her followers on Instagram stories. Do you and your husband want any more kids? was one such query. The 46-year-old gave a positive response against a green Instagram background. Yes, I want, she wrote. Will we say, I would love another baby? No, she continued. We have as much on our plate as we can handle. Fans conjecture that Sarah is actively attempting to conceive another child has now been refuted by these claims. With her spouse Max Schifrin, 46-year-old Sarah already has three children. The couple has a five-year-old daughter named Sandra Grace and two sons, Caleb Joseph, four, and Alec Richard, seven. The host of The View responded to a few more inquiries on Instagram, but she avoided discussing the possibility of having any more kids. Producer Brian Tedda of The View made fun of Sarah because she had interacted with a celebrity in the past. A video of Sarah serenading former show guest Dolly Parton during a commercial break was released by Brian. On Monday's episode of The View, Behind the Table podcast, Brian mentioned Dolly's incredible halftime presentation during the Dallas Cowboys vs. Washington Commanders game on Thanksgiving. This prompted a nostalgic walk down memory lane. The 77-year-old country music icon sang a number of her best-known songs while decked up in a Cowboys cheerleader outfit and a mesh bodysuit below. Brian was reminded of a scene from a previous episode of The View in which Sarah, 46, performed Islands in the Stream, a hit song by Dolly and Kenny Rogers, on her own in front of Dolly. When I was watching this, I immediately, when I saw Dolly, took me back to her last appearance on the show, and this thing that happened on the commercial break where you serenaded Dolly Parton, added the producer. Then he screened a video of Sarah singing as Dolly watched on a satellite. Afterward, Brian made jokes about the alleged cringe moment. Okay, so this may make some people cringe, but it was also pretty cute. You were singing when I heard you walking behind the stage, and I immediately thought, oh my god. How is she acting? Can you hear her, Dolly? Then it quickly turned into, oh my god, I need to make sure that America sees this, so are we moving forward with this? Later, after Sarah gave an impromptu concert, Brian made fun of her vocal abilities. Sarah said, I don't feel like I have vocal gifts, to which Brian replied, no, no one ever does. But after watching the video and sharing it on The View's Instagram page, Fans express their admiration for Sarah's performance online. You are so hilarious. I love it, exclaimed someone. How adorable. Another said, love Sarah fan girling on Dolly. Sarah is the greatest. Fantastic. Another said, I'm sure it made Dolly feel better. Oh, Sarah, I adore this. It was so cute. Added is a fourth. On the podcast, Sarah and Brian have had several arguments. Sarah confronted the producer last month, inquiring about a rumor she had heard about her appearance that day on the show. I did hear that today you tried to get the actors from the Marvel movie to come do the podcast, which would have been literally kicking me off the podcast, the host of a talk program said. Yes, that did come up. I won't lie, admitted Brian. Sarah said, wow, confirmed, taking a moment to process her colleague's admission. I love the Marvel Universe so much. I was kind of delighted to riff with these girls about what's going on in the world of superheroes since I'm a major Marvel nerd, Brian said. But Sarah pressed harder, inquiring as to whether Brian was aware that she was the next in line for podcast appearances. Sarah's other co-hosts, Joy Bihar, 81, Anna Navarro, 51, Sunny Hostin, 55, and Alyssa Farah Grafen, 34, alternate with her as guests on the show. Is it true you had to be reminded by a producer that it was Sarah Haynes' day and that you'd literally be kicking me off without warning? The former Today personality inquired. I think the producer thought they were reminding me of that, but in fact, I knew that the whole time, Brian replied. 
After that, Sarah insisted that Brian admit there was a problem, to which he lowered his voice. There's not another host that I would have not done this for, Brian stated. Sarah pushed once more. Just tell me I'm right, and we can move on. I think your podcast is excellent. Both the crowd and I are thrilled to have you here, Brian said. After concluding their jokes, the two carried on with the show.